my god. <laughs> There. Oh my god. Previously on Charlotte's Life, I did a cover of an Ed Sheeran song and I posted it on my Facebook page. Facebook blocked it and subsequently blocked me from accessing my Facebook page completely. I made a really ranty video about it, taking responsibility for my lack of knowledge about Facebook's terms and conditions, but kind of a little, I was a little pissed off at, um, at Ed Sheeran about it and I expressed that in the video. In a million years, I would not have considered that Ed Sheeran would see that video if I had known he was gonna watch it. Probably would have said, hey Ed, I think you're fantastic and I've been playing your songs for years. I didn't say that. I said something more like, he isn't Ed Sheeran. He's massive, multi-international bestseller brand. Like, that's all he is. He's just a brand. So, some of you have seen on my Facebook page, Ed Sheeran sent me a public apology. His response was gracious and kind and understanding, which is well, not really what my video was to him. I'm a huge Ed Sheeran fan and this whole thing had really upset me, genuinely. I felt, I felt personally attacked by Ed Sheeran, which was ridiculous because it's obviously to do with record labels and publishers. Obviously I know that it wasn't Ed Sheeran personally blocking uh, Ed Sheeran like, well, this girl's covering my song, don't think so. But despite the fact that it had nothing to do with Ed Sheeran, he still personally contacted me to apologize. Oh, Ed Sheeran. I have no idea how he came to see my video. I'm still kicking myself that that's the video of mine that he saw. I've been covering his songs on my channel for so many years. I'm like, and that's the video he sees of me being like, a little bit ticked off at Ed Sheeran right now. I have no idea how he saw it, but I think that it's to do with how many of you shared the video. A lot of you were pretty ticked off as well. I was really surprised when I posted that video. So many comments, shares, interactions in general, and that meant that that video, in terms of my Facebook page, it kind of went viral, which I guess is why Ed Sheeran got to see it. It's not an ideal first impression of me to Ed Sheeran, um, it's an impression nonetheless and I have you to thank for that so thank you so much for interacting with me so much and thank you in general for sticking by me I, I feel really emotional at this time <laughs> I really do feel very emotional and really grateful to all of you because I, I would be nowhere without you so thank you so much I don't really like to be like if you like this video why don't you like it and comment down below I don't really like that sort of stuff it feels zicky but please do do that because <laughs> Um, it helps. It obviously helps. For me, this is such a good news story of how something small can become so big when people get behind it, and that's you getting behind it, so thank you very much. I know a lot of you only know me from just seeing me busking. I do so much busking in London, and so many of you take a card from there and like me on Facebook or like subscribe on YouTube. I can't believe the love that I get from you guys. Just from having seen me busking on the street, and you just continue to support everything that I do as my career progresses and I am so grateful. When I'm busking, I thank every single person that drops money in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I, have, I barely have the breath, but thank you um, also for celebrating with me when I got this message from Ed. It was such a happy thing to see how happy people were for me. I'm just, I'm in awe. I'm in awe of Ed Sheeran, I'm in awe of all of you. I am awesome. <laughs> have a good day, bye. I've been busking full time for about, it's gonna be five years this year. It's taken me a long time to make this a full time career. I wasn't doing it full time the, that whole time. I was working in a pub at the start and I was a student for a little while.